Hello friends, in this video we will be talking about a disease entity called the pachychoroid neovasculopathy. Pachychoroid phenotype is characterized by thick choroid or a pachychoroid, dilated choroidal vessels or pachy vessels and choroidal hyperpermeability on ICGA. The pachychoroid spectrum encompasses the following entities, uncomplicated pachychoroid, a pachychoroid pigment epitheliopathy, central serous chorioretinopathy, pachychoroid neovasculopathy and polypoidal choroidal vasculopathy. This case highlights a 55 year old lady who presented with subtle RP alterations at the macula and a diminution of vision with a visual acuity of 6 by 12. EDI OCT of the same patient shows subretinal fluid at the macular region in the right eye. Fundus fluorescein angiography at late phase shows stippled hyperfluorescence. There was no CSC type leakage. Indocyanin green angiogram late phase shows pachy vessels in the supratemporal area. No polyp or branching vascular network could be seen. SDOCT through the superior area shows a typical subretinal fluid with a double layer sign. Also, we can see pachy vessels in the choroid. So this is a case of typical pachychoroid neovasculopathy where we see pachy vessels on ICG, uh, dilated choroidal vessels and a double layer sign on EDI OCT. So to summarize, the salient features of PNV are pachychoroid, RP alterations, subretinal fluid, a type 1 CNV or hyperreflective double layer sign. The key differentiating points of pachychoroid neovasculopathy from a typical neovascular AMD is a younger age at presentation, no drusens, no or minimal exudations, no or minimal hemorrhage, pachychoroid features and slower evolution of the disease process. PNV should be suspected when there is a persistence of subretinal fluid with no CSC type leak on FA, CNV related to CSC, CNV with a pachychoroid phenotype and an idiopathic CNV. Thank you for watching this video. For more such videos, please subscribe to the Retina Imaging channel on YouTube.